Good evening to you. I'm KC24 meteorologist Justin Sager. Temperatures warmed up today. They are heading up tomorrow. All in all, we still finish the day under our average. Average highs this time of year run about 90 degrees, close to 91 still in some spots. 90 is that average and records are still in triple digit territory. So uh, we're not always done with those triple digit highs by the time we get even through the end of the month this month. This high of 88 though, just two degrees under 90, and it looks like we'll be on the other side of that for tomorrow. Satellite and radar showing that there is a little bit of cloud cover with a disturbance in Northern California that is carrying uh, some cooler air for areas up there. But for us, we will see that impact come later on on Monday when we'll get an onshore flow, but it's not going to come in with any precipitation for our area. Future cast keeps us dry until the end of the work week. Friday, big question mark here. Precipitation likely in Northern California and in Southern California. Will it end up here in Central California? There's a possibility there. The possibility is better in mountain areas. Could see a mixture of frozen precipitation up above 8,500 feet. However, the chances for Central California getting this precipitation are about the lowest throughout the rest of the state, minus maybe the southern deserts. A look through our valley cam up at Meadow Lakes showing the haze that we have in the air. It's still been building and will continue to build under high pressure through the day tomorrow as temperatures warm up a little bit more. The uh, air quality still looks to be good slash moderate throughout much of the area. For tonight, temperatures in the 60s this evening, 63 degrees for Fresno, 54 in Madera, and mid to upper 50s up to 41 to Yosemite National Park. 81 for you there tomorrow, 94 for Fresno and Madera, and a look at your extended forecast shows temperatures dipping back down for the start of autumn. So we're finishing summer with Highs in the 90s, slightly above average. We'll return there the day after we see the beginning of fall. On Tuesday, 97 on Wednesday, the warmest day, the coolest day coming up this weekend. A high of 70 degrees on Saturday with chances for mountain precipitation. You can check it all out anytime.